Okay, so big dogs, this is part two. What we need to do now is, yeah, go prep. So we'll have all the primer. The primer will be dry by now. We'll go chuck some paint on and then maybe clear coat, but it'll depend on how I feel and how I want the finish to look really. But a little bit of clear coat will be cool. Gives it a little bit more resilience and stuff like that. But I'm gonna chuck some uh, of the underbody seal over it too. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just see what gives. But yeah, stick with me, it should be cool. At least the rust's removed, so that's a, that's a good part. And then, yeah, the painting, get that done as best possible. And then, yeah, the underbody seal, it's not a pretty job that you just pretty much go wild. Try not to cover bolts and stuff like that because you're gonna be getting them back off. But like I say, it'll it'll leave like a rubbery-ish feel anyways for, for, for a long time. It's like a tarry sort of substance, this hammer out one that I'll use. I just I just need that that impact resistance really. I don't want to chip in the paint and then the rest getting back in. Yeah, so we'll have we'll have a go. It should be good. It's gone good so far. It's just a really really time consuming process. Have a few days to yourself. You don't necessarily you don't necessarily want to be like painting and then working on it. It's 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 one of those weird ones really. This even the, so what I'll do is I'll paint the car and then let that dry gas out and then the next day I'm gonna do the do the underbody seal and then give it a wash and it should be fine. Yeah, most people are gonna start freaking out when you say wash it within a couple of days because most paint shops and stuff are gonna tell you to leave it a week before you wash it. Guys, I'm not gonna scrub it. I'm not gonna use a massive, a massively strong detergent or wax to, you don't really wanna seal the paint in so it can degas, but I mean, I'm, I'm doing a rattle can job, still a good job, still gonna do my best, but it's not, I don't need to leave it for a week before I can just do a basic hand soap wash. At the paint shop, trust me, they wash your car before you get it back because they sand it in all sorts to get it pristine. So don't panic, superstars, okay? But don't go rub loads of dirt and scratch it up and then go hard on it and stuff. You've got to use your brains, you know what I mean? Guess the big dogs take with me a couple of days, but it'll all be done. Okay, enjoy. Big dogs, I can't find the dongle, so we're just going handheld. I need to clean these beasts. These things are a mess. So let's clean these up. Let me show you what I've done so far. Yeah, so taped up. I haven't gone all the way up. I'm just going to be wet, wet and dry sanding all this and down the bottom. The reason why I haven't really done the whole lot and people are probably panicking about overspray and stuff like that, but it's so hot that it'll pretty much, I'll have to be so close when I paint anyway for it to dry. But yeah, wet and dry, that's really smooth and nice. Nothing's reacted. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks pretty good. Yes, that's come out pretty nice. But what I'll do is I'll still I'll still wet and dry it and then do the other side as well. And then alcohol wipes and lay down a bit of paint. Big dogs. We're ready. So what we're gonna do we've got So this is the the masking tape I used. Use the unibond, it just sticks a little bit better to be fair. We've got the polka dot scissors we're just gonna do a little bit of wet and dry here just a tiny bit see what gives I'm gonna obviously as you guys know okay so this is don't grasp me up you know it's from the kitchen keep it quiet boys don't even say nothing I'm gonna clean it proper I promise so just give a little bit you, you, you can go in you can go and dry but as you know boys that's never recommended got it Gotta just hit it up. Get that juicy. Get that juicy. Okay, so that is now definitely check those rims out. What the Jesus? I've never curbed them once, brother. That's how I got them. Yeah, so what I do here is I just wanna sort of just clear it up. You wanna be careful here, bad boys, because I don't want to be going through to the metal here. I just wanna Smoothing it off a tiny bit. There we go. So I've gone a tiny bit to the metal there. Just rub off a bit of that overspray. Just the lumpy stuff I want to get rid of, really. We're not going here for show and shine. But you guys get the gist of what I want to do here, really. So I'll go and hopefully this is focusing nicely. Here, I don't mind when I take a bit of the primer off because we know it's a bit of overspray on the normal paint, so we don't mind. Normally you'd use a block and all that kind of stuff, but 
don't need to, there's a lot of curves on that here and I'm not going in wild, we're just making it a surface so it's paintable really. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, I just want to key it up really, you could use a, like a scotch bright or something. And guys, yeah, definitely you want to be hitting this with that amyl alcohol afterwards because all the grease and that from your hands and that's going to be going everywhere. Just make sure I don't go through to the metal. I'm just, that's why I'm barely touching this primer, guys. So part one was recorded yesterday. So today is today, the next day. And then what I'll do is once this is all done and painted up, I'll clean out all the side skirts and I'll show you guys what I do with regards to um, protecting it afterwards. Like with a, what is it called? A, um, sort of like a wax, wax like underbody, underbody or just a wax. I use a chain, I use that chain lube as you guys know. So I'll be checking that underneath. I'm going to probably get some... I'm trying to think what the brand's called now, actually it's an old school wax or I mean, people are massive fans of it. But it says clear, but it, it's like yellow. Used it once in the, once like in a, on the boots of a car. Well, in the inside and this carpeted over the top and yeah, it doesn't look great, but provides such a nice seal. Because basically on some Golfs and that, some of the previous cars, you get these basic rust, rust, rust spots which are like these and different cars are prone to rusting in different areas you chuck that wax on it's beautiful it helps you a lot okay so guys i don't think i'm gonna bore you and put you to sleep watching me do all of this so let me yeah get back to it oh yeah let me finish this up and then i'll bring you guys back in when we're all when we're all good and i'm yeah full of mess now so let's figure it out there you go pig dogs it's a little bit dusty looking but if you want to get some focus, that'd be great. Yeah, so there we go. So I've gone and done all of that with the wet, wet and dry, so that's all keyed up nicely. So what we'll do now is I'll go with the alcohol, alcohol um, yeah, isopropyl alcohol, a bit of a cloth. Well, they say you should really use a tack cloth, but that's an old t-shirt. So we're going to cut a piece of that. Nice fresh piece, not the greasy bit. Where's that? We don't use the greasy bits. Check those. Check that piece that through to the loom, bro. You know how we roll. If you don't know about it, you better get known about it. It's through the loom, bro. Big stuff. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna cut a piece of that off. Get some isopropyl alcohol on it. Wipe the panel down, and then we're ready for paint, big dogs. Stick with me. I'm here for you. Okay, big dogs. Let's cut a piece out of this then. I want to take this serious, bruh. Oh, hear that? The twin goodness right there. The boys are out riding, and I'm here messing with the car. But it'll all be worth it in the end. It'll all be worth it in the end. Okay, so. You don't really want the bits of the edges to, like, go everywhere, but hey, ho. It is what it is, big dogs. You know how we roll. Okay, so here's my little mat right here. Thanks to my mate, hooked me up with this. Nice and soft. So let me mash my elbows up, like I have done previously. To be fair, guys, I don't even know what you can see here because this is just pure, pure bullshit. My angle I got here. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you how I'd wipe one, but I'm not gonna get underneath because you poor buggers ain't gonna see nothing. You're just seeing these rims here that are making you guys cry, I can imagine. Okay, so what you don't want to do is put the crap from the floor on it, like I just did. I'm going to go get another piece, but I'll just show you here with this clean bit, because I'm not spending time wiping that down. And then you want to wear gloves. Can you see these invisible gloves I've got on right now? You want to use them. See, so that's what I'll do. So I'll go with the alcohol, no drink in it, just using it for this. And that's what I'll do. So I just wipe it down. You guys get the picture? Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do, and this one's getting coyed in the bin, mate. I ain't using that. Check these rooms. These need fixing up. Big, big time. Okay, big dogs, what have we got here? So we got our paint. Oh, you can even see that. So paint's for you. Should have the correct colour. 
look so it's, it says dark gray metallic on most it's the 41 the 61k the paint code should be correct let's see if it's got any metallics in it so yeah basically shook it up left it in the sun a bit should i pick up all my rubbish from my neighbors okay so let's make sure okay so what we're gonna do here is i guys once i start shooting this I've got to, yeah, I've just got to be, got to be quick, really. I can't, I'm not going to record the whole process. You guys are going to be jumping up and down, so it's going to be a mission. I'm just going to hit this now. It's all been hit with ammo alcohol. I'm going to start spraying it. I know it might not be the best. You know what we'll do, actually? Let's go get a little card so we can shoot a couple of test shots, yeah? Let's do it against this, actually. Yeah, that's why you want to do your test shots first. Looks good. Oh man, that's not bad. There's a lot of flake in that though. A bit more than the normal paint, I think. And that is mixed. Uh, okay, let's get the card. I don't really want to be painting the tire, let's be honest. So you want to be going close with the spray can because because it's so warm. You'll um, It'll dry before it hits the... So it's not bad, huh? Okay, you guys have seen that. Looks pretty sweet. I've got a turbo it though, guys. I've got a turbo. I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so there guys. That's one coat done so far. I wouldn't class myself as an expert painter, but it's not bad. Oh, come on. Focus. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? You can see the tape there. I need, I need, to, I need to really keep the show on the road. If I can actually show you guys some proper footage here though, to be honest. Be nice, there we go, that's better. Okay, camera, if you want to play the game, it's just today. I just need you to play today, please. Hello. Hello, camera. Yeah, guys, the camera just does not want to play. It's that flake, it's that shine. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? If you could see. There we go, yeah, so pretty cool. So I'll go put another layer down. I'm going to keep going. You want to try and do them. You want to try and get the coats. Yeah, you need to try and get them, you don't want to leave them too too far between whilst they're just a little bit wet so they can bond together. You don't want to leave too much time between the coats really. So I'm going to give it like 15 minutes, chuck another one on because it's warm. Okay, big dogs. Third coat on. As you can see, looking pretty shiny. There's a normal car paint. It's a, we haven't obviously compared it directly to the paint next to it. Look at that shine. It won't be that shiny in a sec when it dries up all properly and I'm not going to actually put clear on it, I'm going to put the under seal over I, I, I might put clear but I, I doubt it, I think I'm going to put the under seal on it Three coats, nice and thick It's, like I say, you know, your painters, painters out there are going to be going like, okay, that might not look the best but I don't really care, it's, it's nice, got no rust under it and it's, it's pretty good for a for a driveway, driveway mission. I'm, I'm really trying to get you guys some of that closest. Check the flake in that. Paints for you smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. So I get my paint from there all day. Those color match. It's nice. Check that flake. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We didn't get any overspray, which is a surprise. But yeah, let me try and show you it all when it's done and dried up. You guys are in for a treat. I'm gonna lacquer it for you guys as well. Why not? Everything for the boy, for the legends out there. All the supporters, this is for you guys. I'm really impressed with how this, this paint came out. This paint's for you. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Got back to me so quick on email as well. That's impressive. Okay, so here, also, don't be shy. It makes that like milky color. Don't panic, okay? It's either the, sometimes the paint's um, still degassing underneath. So do not panic. Actually, I'm not going to show you guys a whole lot, but you guys get the picture, right? Okay. Yes, yeah, so those bubbles will go away and then we should come out nice. I really hope I got the other camera angles when I was doing this work. I hope it all saved properly and stuff, but that looks 
pretty glossy and pretty shiny. Oh, big dogs. You know why I got this right? Because you guys believed in me. That's what it was. You big dogs had faith. You knew I was going to do it. You knew I was going to smash it out the park. Come on. That paint, that paint from that company, that paint's for you. Bang on, mate. Bang on. Obviously, they're the dirty stuff. So what I'll do here is I think I'm going to maybe... I think I might give it a wash all the seal, wash all the center of all this rubbish out here. Guys, how, how lucky am I that I didn't get that crap in there? I should have really cleaned all this stuff before. So note to yourselves, give your car a wash before you do this. But look, it's possible. So that's that. It's looking beautiful. It's identical on the other side, that's why I'm not showing you. And it's the same on the inside. Of, it's the same on the inside there, you can't really see. But that whole inside that was rusty and stuff, all gone. And it all looks like that underneath. And then obviously, follow those lines and do that and put the under seal there just because it's high impact area so I know it's a beautiful finish underneath and it would be a shame to cover it but I don't really want to be doing this every couple of years so I'll show you some other bits and tips to how to stop corrosion and stuff but with regards to the impact you really want that sort of rubberyish feel underneath that tarry sort of stuff it doesn't look great rubbish to get off but it does stop those stone chips okay big dogs here we go so let me show you a quick little test on how you do this so if you want it it's already drying see that like see there's like little stringy bits can you see that not really see how it's stringy to my finger that means it's time to peel off this goodness i've got to be careful here obviously because i didn't clean the clean the car this is where this is where it um pays to clean the car before you do something like this because you'll see the tears if the dust goes on to this beautiful paint he says come on big dog this is the problem when you use tapes, tape that's a little bit too sticky as you can see in the heat as well this is why paint booths are a thing guys So you want to be putting away. Let's really get rid of this first. See, the thing is, if you left this, if you left this on and it dries, it'll sometimes like peel off and like flake the paint. I'm hoping you guys are seeing this. The lines, the lines there because of the tape and I'm an amateur obviously so if you were a professional paint shop you would um, yeah you would have cleaned this all and then they what they would do is they would um, like blend it in by polishing and stuff like that. But I think you guys sort of get the picture here. So what I was going to do is what I might do is, um, you can see where I've painted it maybe, I don't know if it's actually good lighting, but that, I ain't gonna lie, looks beautiful. Look at all that, no rust left, nothing. You obviously see my paint line, and I'm not crying about that at all, because that is beautiful. The paint from that paint from that company is absolutely phenomenal. I'm impressed, man. Bang on paint coat. That's dirty, but look. Up. Obviously it's fresh, it hasn't hit that had the sun so much, but that is beautiful, huh? And look at all that under oh, I hope you guys can see it. And this is when the time I realize the camera is not recording, but you can see here it's all shiny now. Obviously I put the gloss. So the lacquer, so that'll protect it a little bit more. But I'm gonna chuck, as you can see, you see this? See this bit that I painted here. I think I'm gonna stick some underbody seal anyway here. I know I've done a good job on it and it looks pretty cool. And once it's cleaned up, I, I think it'll look beautiful. But I'm gonna chuck underbody seal here anyway. It's not a, it is a bit high impact and a lot of stuff sits here. But I just want to put something and I'll probably follow the same lines that I sprayed. Make it look uniform on both sides. But hopefully you guys get it. But that looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, big dogs, come with me. This is the master painting technique leave the 
leave the cans in the sun so you can't get that um yes you don't end up getting that temperature control <laughs> but guess what they warm you can feel that through the glove that's what we like okay let's get under this beast okay so let's show you so that's another day drying okay so what i was going to try and describe if you guys can even see well, i might put a little bit of the rubber under seal here because this trim ignore the mess this trim should stop stones coming directly up and chipping that because all i wanted to do is if you guys see i just got that jacking point looking so good now there's nothing there it's beautiful honestly that jacking point is incredible just keep that nice structure there still the rest didn't get too deep like you saw surfaced surface stuff but like i said i might put a little bit of the rubberized coating but what i'll do is i'll just get a piece of card and then just shield it with the card and then just spray it spray it in there I think I will. I think I'll just do those bottom corners. But let's get underneath here and I'll show you what gives. I'm only going to spray a bit with you guys because I need to put a face mask on and stuff. And then hopefully you guys can see to be fair. Okay. So here we go. So I removed, I removed all the all the bits from here. Well, bits. All the um, all the old paint and rust and stuff. Nice and smooth. I didn't get to show you guys basically what what I did when I saw the other video back is you could still see like a bit of uh, darker marks and stuff around. I just pretty much sat that afternoon guys and just um, had by the time that I sanded everything away just kept sanding it back putting on the anti-corrosion stuff. I hope you guys can see with the sun in the back to be fair. You probably can't even see a thing. Okay well anyways the way you saw on the outside was the way it was in, inside on both in both corners and on the outside on on the other side i didn't think there was any reason to show you every corner but yeah i didn't skimp just did a nice job you see all the seams here got all into there there's no rust in there anyway to be fair but just got everything out okay so like i said guys this is just a quick a quick blast just i can just imagine you guys can't see i might just show you the other side as well but basically you can still cover for overspray but it's quite a i'll show you on the carpet actually don't worry, it's not going in the house. See, it's like an oily. Guys, don't ask me why I just did that because I want to have to actually sit on that. Hey, well, not sit on it, but you know, I mean, lay on it. Okay, hold on a second. Let's figure this out, big dogs. Give you guys those proper angles. So it might be a bit oily in the beginning. I've tried to shake it up as best I can. Can you see that, like, tarry sort of stuff? There we go, the rubbery stuff's coming out now. So now what I'll do is I'll, that's just to show you guys, but I'm gonna take a card and I'll put like a card here and I'll just like shield bits where I don't want the stuff to go. But I wanna put it quite, get it quite thick around here because here's where the stones, a lot of impact and stuff it seems. And then I'll go up where I've removed all the paint up the top. And on the other side, I'll go do all that. Okay, so you guys get the picture. I'm gonna show you guys when it's all done. Big dogs, let's get these gloves off. And I'll show you guys in a sec. Big dogs. I'm gonna go and show you a little bit. Bit of a bit of view, hopefully. And let's get you guys. I think I can, when I'm getting under the car a little bit, there's a bit more of a shadow. So you might be able to see. It's just me shimmering in. You guys know how we roll. We got these gorgeous goggles, glasses on. Look at these things. Swag. Swag. Ow. I'm just trying to get this on my on the bean, mate. Get this on the bean. Okay. Took you guys up. Big dog style. Okay, so we give it a shake. So you see this like rippled effect now? Because if you hold it a bit closer, it'll come out a bit thicker, yeah? So I used the card to get around there. Put a little bit up in there. This stuff doesn't dry very quickly, so if you've got some alcohol wipes and stuff, you can get all this off. But what I do is I just do my little gorgeous little light dusting. See, I painted this all up nicely, got all this off, but I'll still put this stuff on it. It's a shame, because the paint does look so nice. I should have really put some tape around those bolts, but... Uh -huh. So this will just be a little light one. Let this, well, sort of dry on there for a sec. What you could do, see there where I've removed 
all that'll build that back up. That's maybe looks a bit better for you guys. You can see, see, it doesn't mimic its, its close. It's not exactly the same. Though. But what you want to try and do here is, you want to try and get these gaps. But be careful. I mean, as you guys can see, there's a lot of whilst I'm spraying. Oh my lord! I just laid on my. Oh for. Oh, the stuff takes forever to wash off. I've got it all on my arm. Damn it. I laid on my card I was using there to, to like block off stuff. Normally I was putting the card behind here, but just for the video, you guys, I might end up having to do more cleaning for you guys. And when I say more cleaning, it's going to be absolute hell on earth to get this off of the other side of the car. But I'll do it for you guys, okay? So basically, yeah, anywhere where I took the stuff off, I've got to put it back. But like I said, we we'll do a little light coat here. But just you got to try to remember where you went and where you, which bits you did. See, I don't want to start putting it on some of the bits. Oh, give it a little shake. I don't really want to paint this, but because it was quite hard to get that nice. And this is where you spray it into your own face, but not in my eyes. Because I have glasses on, bruh. Okay, big dogs. But you guys get the picture, right? So here, yeah, I'll, re I'll really try and like, I'll do a couple more. I'm pretty upset that I've made a mess of myself. But here, yeah, I want to get I want to get a lot of stuff here because I want to this. You want to keep the structural integrity here when you're jacking it and stuff. I mean, that's in really good condition. You saw I got that back nice and bare, so it's looking good. I'm really, really happy with this now. So I'm going to go do the other side for you supers. Well, not for you superstars, I'm doing it for me, but you guys, you guys get the picture. All of this is for us, the community, right? Subarus, you know how we roll. Big dogs. Okay, so big dogs, what do we do? So we've got, so pretty much three layers here. The first one was just that really light one. The second one I put in so it's so it can get quite thick. So I'll try to get up in everywhere. So say if you get it on the bolt like I did, you don't need to be too worried. I'll just wipe it with my fingers because it stays quite wet. For, it stays wet for a while. So the second coat, I get this like ripple effect. I, I go quite close, so I get the thickness. And then the third one, I just brush over it slightly. You know, just don't give it that much of a heavy coat. Okay, I've got my arm stuck here. Let's try and show you guys down a little bit. Yeah, I didn't really want to put it on this bracket because that bracket I painted up so nice and everything was so nicely painted but I just pretty much got it all the way down the sill and everywhere. So it's pretty cool, huh? so everywhere where I took bare metal I put this on. I went over a little bit of the other areas that I hadn't worked on just so hopefully like tie it in. Like I said, this stuff's like a tar and it, it never really dries properly and it, it doesn't really matter. It's going to stick, trust me, this stuff doesn't just come off. I'll try and see if I can show you the other side. To reach over, can you guys see the shininess back there? So that pretty much goes down. You can see how far I went down that sill, but it looks pretty cool. It's so nice. Let me try and show you guys outside. I'm just gonna stop it because you don't need to hear the noises and the grunting of me trying to get out from underneath this monster. Okay, so we didn't get any, we didn't get any overspray come through. And as you can see, the jacking point is looking absolutely beautiful. All nice and shiny now, no rust, no corrosion. I went so far, I didn't go all the way through. But the other bits weren't that bad. So we'll do the front of the car and other parts of the car at some point. But I won't be rushing to do any of this, like, right now, to be honest. Because it was, yeah, fun and games. It just takes, this is all about preparation and stuff. So now I'm going to remove all these other bits that I left in here. I didn't want to move it yes, you know, yesterday or the day before. I can't remember, lost track of days yet because of the wet paint and stuff. I don't want to really get any rubbish on there. Really surprising I've got such a good finish with not, literally not a speck of dirt with all this stuff. So what would I do, guys? You know, like I told you, wash the car before you do this. Take all these seals off, wash everything. Yeah, and get it done that way. But otherwise, look, we did it my way and nothing really, nothing bad, to be honest. And this is going to be covered anyway, but you don't want to do a good job. You don't want rust to come back there. But yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I'm not going to put any of the of the impact stuff here. I'm hoping that this is going to do its job. And if I can keep on top of it now myself, like cleaning all these sills out every month or something, just remove them and clean them, I think I'll be able to look after it. It'll be nice. Okay, big dogs, I'm happy. You can see. You can see the line from where I painted. Obviously, the new paint. We always knew that was going to happen. You could potentially polish that a little bit to make it less pronounced 
but yes, that's all good. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you what else. I'll chuck this other bit, and I'll show you that in a sec. This um, sort of anti-corrosion stuff. Let me show you that in a sec. But yeah, the other side. I haven't cleaned this side that much yet, but it's all the rubbish I took out. I don't want to give it a massive water wash from the top because I don't want any. I don't need water to start going to these holes, so I'm just literally wiping it. A slight bit, you could polish it, that maybe a little bit of overspray. Maybe, or just faded paint, it doesn't feel rough. That's all, all rough to be honest. But yeah, so, pretty cool, huh? So what we'll do, is we'll, I'll put some of this anti-corrosion stuff on for you guys in a sec. Should we get, I'll try and get underneath the car quickly. Bear with me with the sun. But that's all dried nicely. You can see it nice and shiny halfway up. It'd be nice if it was all the way. Um, I might have to just take you to the other side actually. Maybe we can see from here. There's not much space under this car, sorry guys. You can see there in the far corner. It's a little bit shiny and stuff. Let me try and get you zoomed up here just so you can see the finish and then what you can expect. We've gone this far. So there we go. So it's, it's, it's dulled out slightly now. Yeah, so it's like you can see it's not like, it's even see, it still could do with a little bit more drying. A little bit of that stuck to my finger to be honest. But that's, but that's me done. I mean the car's not going to move now for the next couple of days. So yeah, so I'll leave it a good few days. With the, with this, with the heat and stuff, if you've got moisture, well you're going to have to leave it ages to dry. This stuff never like totally really dries. It's quite a weird substance. I said it's more tarish. But this, when it hardens a little bit, it'll definitely protect from like the stone chips and stuff like that. But definitely worth doing, guys. It's just time consuming. That's why most people pay to people just underseal their car. The problem is, like, if I go and underseal these bits, right? See how terrible that looks in there? That is obviously that is just absolutely horrible, right? But no joke, you'll see people hitting that with a wire brush for a couple of seconds and then chucking some underseal over it. And because it's like got such a crappy finish to it, like that, it's just so forgiving with regards to corrosion, you won't even notice. But look at this, this needs, this needs rectifying, it's like it's a structural parts, so you need to fix them all up, but it's time consuming, that's why people will, they'll just chuck um, undercoat all over it, and then they think it's all good, but what you don't realise, it's still rotting and everything underneath. But we'll get there, we're going to restore this baby to its former glory. But yeah, big dogs, as you can see, there's lots of bits to do. Thanks for joining me though, it's wicked. Hope you found the video good. Well, should, do you guys want some face action? Let me give you some face action. Okay, big dog, let me show you this good. These lot, they need to sponsor me because I use this stuff for everything. Put this on my toothbrush even if I, if I needed to. Get those teeth nice and protected. Don't worry about that enamel protection. I was going to show you guys some face action. I didn't realize I'd still show you this. So yeah, some of this. But this stuff, it's no joke, mate. You do not want to get this in your car and stuff like that. So you want one of these handy. So what I did was, because I'd wiped this all down, just with slightly moist cloth, I don't want to get loads of water and stuff in there, right? So what you'll see people do with regards to cavity waxes and all those kind of things, spray into these holes. This, this doesn't cost a quid. It's not the cheapest stuff in the world. It's beast. I'll tell you what it does. It sticks on my motorbike chain when I'm flying along with that thing. Rain, wet, water, shine, whatever, this stuff stays on your bike, on your motorbike chain. So it sticks to the body of the car, trust me. So what I do is give it a shake and then, oh shit, oh, we better lift that because that's probably cracked a, um, that would have cracked a clip up the top. Yeah, thank you very much. Congratulations, Rian, you played yourself. Okay, so what I do is I do not want this on the interior of the car. And these bits, you don't want it where it's going to be seen either, right? If you're just freshly painted this, I wouldn't spray this on because it will not, the gases won't release from the paint. And you don't really want it on your car tire either. But with a four wheel drive, you know how we roll. We lose one tire, get a bit of traction on one tire. Now, I'll try and we're going to see what it gives. So let's go close to here. He says. I think you guys get the picture, but I'm going to do this underneath now. Hello, Baba Mud Flap. Hope you guys can see this. I probably just got this in the way now. But this stuff's like a. 
the consistency is it, it never this stuff never that quite dries it's always tacky so what'll happen is there's lots of um like the dirt and the sand that collects in here will stick to it but the premise here what i'm thinking is that we want to keep a barrier right okay this get this okay with the power of grayscale <clears throat> see summon the power of grayscale and then what you do is you don't press this on get it in the hole so what you can do is this kind of stuff the body shop will love you later what you do is here just in case there's anything sort of kicking off in these cavities guys there is definitely cheap ways you see this check this out even our painting and decorating I didn't seal that properly and I just go fill that cavity yes bro spray it spray it spray and pray bro you know how we roll like I say probably because you, you probably could use cheaper stuff like I would use um, the waxel the wax oil it's a massive like you can buy like a five liter for like 25 quid be lucky if you get two cans of this for 25 quid bad boys okay so it's dripping out the hole in the bottom there so that means we've put enough but I'll just yeah I'd rather go I'd rather be overly overly cautious with it it doesn't bother me just don't want to get it on your interior that's all but you guys get the premise right let's go underneath the car Ooh, we'll do the other side maybe ah, let's go i'll put you under the car but we're going to change our cap big dog star if anybody asks i haven't got new clothes on under the car and what we'll do is, oh guys, I just forgot to show you. So what I'll do is I'll clean all these up, all these clips before they go in. So don't don't get nervous, boys. Don't get nervous. Okay, so now we're shimming under, putting in that one. Just if we can just go wild. We don't care where this goes. Well, we need it to go to the problem areas, but we don't care. That stuff hasn't dried yet, so maybe you don't want to really be putting it here yet, but. On the jacking points a bit, I'd say maybe a little bit there. I want to try and get it in these cavities to be fair, because I haven't got anything in those cavities. So, okay, so that's all you do. So you've literally just coated, boom, 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 all the way. Most people, like I say, you would get your wax oil, get the clear one. The clear one still dries yellow anyway. Or you could use this. It's just going to cost you a couple of quid because it's going to take a few cans of this. Trust me. I did a car, <laughs> I did the last car with this, I think I bought, I literally should have bought shares, I must have done about more than, more than eight cans, I can't remember, I got some Amazon thing, you do the maths, yeah, it cost me a, a bit, but yeah, it was worth it, so like, so you guys get the premise, right, I'm going to spray this under here, I don't want to spray it everywhere because I've put so much work into doing this, you can already see like the slight, slight discoloration here, you, you wouldn't, don't be a pleb like me and put this on while it's like still curing to be honest but it should be right I know it'll dry relatively solid and if not I've got the the hammer right there and I'll just be able to wipe it off and, and put a fresh set on so you guys aren't going to do that straight away it's just to, just to show you guys really and you would just yeah when it's settled hard enough you'll know you just if you can touch it with your finger and the tire doesn't stick on the tip then then you then you're all good then you can spray this stuff everywhere and then you could like even now uh, I don't necessarily want to keep spraying it there, but let's say something like this, right? It's already corroded, but some of the parts aren't. So what you could do, you would clean that a little bit, but you can just start applying it to things like so. And then if it hasn't got rust there, at least it's not going to start there from the surface. Unless it makes a hole through there and it starts, but it's just a very good thing that you can do. And like I say, the wax oil is better in this. <laughs> the wax oil's better cost performance, um, you know, price bang for buck. Because you can literally... You get the five you get the five liter you get the little spray bottle and you can literally coat the whole of this bottom of the car literally spray gun style spray the whole lot don't need anything special jack the car up you're laughing cake it in that stuff and nothing's in the rust i promise okay so this is how it should look when you're all done we obviously got that wax all the way under so we put it inside those holes you can see where it's dripped hello 
Yeah, you see where it's like dripped through the seam and stuff, so it's everywhere under all those holes everywhere. So that's how you want it to look. Allow it to dry a little bit. We're all good here. See, so I've gone all the way up. You could clean up some of the bits where you open the door and you'll be able to see it, but I've gone everywhere. So that's pretty cool now. I've gone in here. All the stuff you can wash off if you want to, so you can go wild with it to be fair. But you wait for it to dry because it'll still be a bit tacky. It always stays obviously a little bit tacky, but wait for it to dry a little bit. We'll launch these back on and we're all good. All good. It looks cooler. Really happy with the job. And the best thing about, like I say, like these, like this wax and all these others, they transparent. Anyways, that's about as, yeah, that's more translucent, whatever you can see through them. And like I say, yeah, the wax all it's it's like a yellowy color but you can see through it so at least you can see so look here we're painted and stuff we have gone over where you know the problem area if you went over this with that whack uh, with the under seal you're not going to see if there's corrosion starting and because of the finish of the paint well the finish of that stuff you won't tell if it's like bubbling up underneath until it's too late so this i did this on purpose that's why i didn't put the high impact stuff here because I thought you know what I can do is every couple of months pop off these side skirts and see if any of the rust comes back because that's what you got to do you'll be silly if you just think it's a you know one and done job no you have to keep looking after these things and keep looking at them you could take a stone chip there and start all the corrosion all again okay big dog should I give you guys some face action or what I said I was gonna give you face action on the other section but I didn't big dog's here is looking a bit messy but we're all good we're all gravy thanks for sticking with me and yeah, we're done. That section is done. We're on to the next bit, maybe a little bit of motorbike stuff too. Because I broke that as well. So you know, those videos are coming. But yeah, honestly guys, thanks for thanks for sticking with me. And I hope you find the video useful. Follow these steps. I think it's the best way to do it, to be honest, in my opinion. There's literally no better way to do this unless you pay somebody and the guy does it for you. That's the only way it can be better. And if you do maybe a better paint job or something like that. But yeah, I think it's cool. I'm impressed car still looking good and yeah it'll last me longer you know just look after your stuff you know don't just chuck everything away big dogs you know we do super super useful life yo you know love those flat boards thanks for subscribing big dogs thanks for watching enjoy